Hey friends, gonna talk about a little J. Crew try on session today. Uh, starting with this adorable half zip sweater, which if you've been following any of my stuff lately, you know I'm obsessed with half zip sweaters. Um, this one is super cute, it's a cotton blend. It's not super long, I would say. I have kind of a shorter torso. I would say this is a little bit cropped. Great with high waist jeans, like these demi boot cuts, which I'll show you in a second. These are the demi boot. It's got these great uh, faded like creases down the front, which I've been looking for. And they fit true to size. This is my regular size 28 um, for a slim fit, but not uncomfortable. They're not too high-waisted. Um, my belly button's about right here. Super cute. I'm not, I love the crease on the bottom and I, I like that wash overall. I'm not 100% sold on the color of the wash or like the whiskering part of it but i've been searching so long for jeans with that cool front crease that um i've even tried to research how to do it on my own i'm really particular about my jean washes though like <laughs> super particular so i'm a little on the fence about this wash but the fit is amazing and they are a great jean, especially for the price point. Okay, I know this is a lot of zippers and a lot of collars together. But one of the things I love most about J. Crew is layering up their pieces. And this cotton blend sweater is thin enough underneath that if it is a pretty chilly day, you can layer it um, under this beautiful fleece that I love. It is a little boxy, um, but it is a gorgeous color. It's super soft. Again, I'm addicted to these half zip, quarter zip, tops, sweatshirts, sweaters right now. Um, I do like that the arms are big enough to layer something underneath so the arms aren't super tight and sometimes I have that problem with a lot of uh, stuff that I try to layer. So super comfy, a little bit long. You can see I've half tucked it here, which you're like probably like half tucking a fleece, but it's thin enough, it kind of works and it shows off my waistline, which makes my five foot four inch height look a little bit taller. And um, yeah, this is super cozy. I love the color and I'm usually like such a neutral gal. So this is a good find. I do love a double denim look, denim on denim. Um, this might be a little too on the nose with me having some Western style boots on as well, but I do love this shirt. It's a classic fit Western shirt and it's kind of, I think, a closet staple that you can layer. I like a, like a striped top underneath with, um, usually pair my more preppy or western stuff with some sporty pieces so maybe i'll try on some different jeans and sneakers or something but this is a great shirt so i did just try on the fleece over it let's see if it works got a lot going on here <laughs> i think i might tuck this shirt in instead of having it hanging out that seems not quite the aesthetic I'm going for these days. Oh, this fleece does have pockets, by the way, which I know you were wondering about. I like the fleece just tucked a little bit. Um, and maybe we would roll up the sleeves, I don't know. I like a rolled, layered rolled sleeve. That's like the J. Crew sweet spot, I think. Yeah, I'm liking this. I don't know, I still, for, for me, that's the, that's the struggle with boot cut a little bit, is that I don't ha currently have a ton of shoes I wear regularly every day that go with boot cut jeans. So um, 
you know, heels always go with boot cut jeans, but I don't wear a ton of heels. So that is something to consider with these jeans because I do like them. I'm seeing them everywhere, but you know, are they, do they work well in my more sporty, um, edgy kind of closet? So now I've paired it with my favorite ankle D, like kind of a wider straight leg jean with some distressing and my favorite Danner boots. This is kind of more my vibe. I don't know if I would always layer the denim shirt underneath this look, probably more likely a t-shirt or something, or even like I said, a striped t-shirt would be really cute under this with the cuffs peeking out or something. Um, but I am loving the sporty fleece with my go-to jeans and my favorite Danners. They are a lightweight Danner um, quilted hiking boot. They're so nice, love them. And I love that kind of, I mean, <laughs> it's a very Portlandy look, but it's something I would wear. And this is like a fun kind of springy color, but we don't get very warm weather here until way after spring. So um, this would be a perfect Northwest kind of look. And this is me figuring out a denim on denim look that I'd actually wear. Um, and I think making it a little more feminine is where I feel comfortable with it. I've got some cute heels on and a bag with a little bit of bling. I'm still not 100%, but um, I really like this shirt, so I'm trying to make it work. Um, I would definitely wear it under a sweatshirt with jeans and sneakers. Um, Maybe let's try on a jacket or something. This is another J. Crew piece. It's the relaxed trench coat. And <clears throat> sadly, I think it's already a little low in stock, but um, I'm hoping it's one of those pieces that they restock, which they do um, often, a lot of their coats. So, but it's, it is oversized. Um, this is a small, and like I said, I'm 5'4", so, you know, it's pretty, maxi oversized kind of vibe but i'm really digging it at first when i tried it on i thought it was too much but um especially with a heel or like a soup a slim pant or something um over dresses over i think it's just a really cool trench coat we'll link to some others too um one at j crew factory is really a classic one um that i found online that's super cute but i think this is a really fun look for like just a kind of a fun dinner out or brunch or something. Um, and again, I like the making the denim shirt a little more feminine and then distressed denim is always my go-to. I'm trying to find maybe a couple pairs that are a little more classic without all the distressing, but for now I still like the busted knees. <laughs> And now we're trying the boot cut jeans on again with this look, which we'll show you full length, but I'm really liking this. Like unbutton the top a bit more, maybe add more jewelry and stuff. This is where a boot cut jean really shines, this kind of outfit. Might experiment with tucking the shirt in. I do love a half tuck. I think you could go both ways. Sometimes it, like, want a little more relaxed look. Sometimes these denim shirts are hard to like get a good tuck on them too because they're thicker. So, but yeah, that also looks good tucked in. I'm all about a popped collar, but that's just me. And the sweater is back on its own with the jeans and a sporty sneaker. Um, these jeans actually hit just right um, with the sneaker, so I could be down with this, which is not, you know, hasn't been my jean sneaker combo in a while. And to just give you an idea of it with a more classic cut trench, this is a Club Monaco trench, but it's more similar to the J. Crew Factory one that I was talking about. Um, I don't know about the double popped collar, but, um, but yeah, super cute over the sweater 
definitely this is like the classic J. Crew vibe here, which I've always loved. There is a big part of me that is very preppy from my past, and I still love like um, pulling that out and balancing it out with sometimes with edgier pieces or sometimes just full on preppy and I really love it. <laughs> now I have a really beautiful cozy piece from J. Crew. Obviously this is a J. Crew try on. <laughs> this is a cashmere v-neck. It is like perfectly oversized. This is my typical size small, but you can see it's like, like just perfectly drapey and comfy and lovely. We all love J. Crew cashmere. It is just the best. Um, and they tend to bring it back year after year. This is a great transitional piece. It would be great for traveling, for layering, for just being lovely and cozy, um, but not heavy. And I love a V-neck for transitional weather too, because um, you know, you're not super hot with a turtleneck or even a crew neck isn't usually quite as flattering on me. I find as a, a V-neck is. I've still got the boot cut jeans on with the sneakers and I'm liking this for just like a, you know, everyday kind of combo for early spring. I think I'd probably layer maybe the trench coat over this. Um, let's try it. I pulled the oversized one again because I'm just really loving it. Um, and you know, it is oversized because even when I button it, it's still pretty wide, but I don't know. It's just so cool. I mean, maybe it is too big. I don't know. Maybe the extra small would be better but I still just think it's such a cool piece. And like I said, I hope they bring it back in stock, but they usually do. They always have great trench coats at J. Crew. Um, more classic or more, you know, kind of fun like this, but I'm digging it. There we have it, friends. Latest J. Crew haul. This is definitely my favorite piece. I've been wearing it a ton. It's so comfy. It goes with everything. It's the perfect weight for this time of year. And um, we'll link everything below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.